Hello guys, welcome to Insta Electronics. So today also it's a little bit unusual angle right here because my workbench is completely messed up at the moment. But today in the mail I got a package which I already opened and this is the package and it says in the description that it is a USB charger if I can focus on that. But anyway since I already opened it let's just take this out and inside we are getting no protection at all. If you take a look at there is nothing inside see not even simple bubble wrap and this right here is the charger the description product description about this charger i believe the name is something called olaf or something and i bought this thing for around three us dollars this is basically a quick video so uh, let's take it out and as you can already see this is the item right here so it says QC on there so it is a quick charge compatible charger you can see right there it's a Qualcomm quick charge 3.0 compatible and this is the different output voltage that it supports input DC to 12 to 30 volts output 5 volts 6 amps 9 volts 2 amps 12 volts at 1.6 amps and there is nothing else in there it says 3.1 amps right there it has dual USB ports and no branding whatsoever apart from this right here so let's use our trusty little meter and USB test load but unfortunately this is just a 2 amp load but that's uh, fair enough I think just for a quick test of this thing so let's plug this in my car and see how this thing performs so guys we are now in my car and let's plug this in and you may be able to hear the fans coming on and have my test load right here so Let's plug this into my car and see what happens. That's interesting right there. Let me just tell, plug it out. See, I'm actually on an FM radio station right here and I'm currently having a poor reception at the moment but still, you can, you must be able to hear some static noise at the moment. See, there's some little bit of static at the moment but just look at this when I plug this in you can basically hear that the noise is increasing very rapidly and I guess that this is because this thing is creating a lot of radio frequency noise so anyways but let's just plug this in and see how this thing so I am now at uh, 1 amp of load at 5.14 volts and I'm switching to 2 volts right here it's now on 2 amps and it is still keeping up at 2 amps it's working pretty fine so the noise is noise seems to be increasing when I connect the load just listen to this let me turn off the fan completely so this is the background noise at the moment I'm going to turn off the load by unplugging this thing see there is a drop in the noise and that is going to drop when I unplug this see now this is off and the entire cabin is less noisy but yeah for three dollars apart from this issue of radio frequency interference or generally noise created by this thing I think this thing pretty much uh, is a really good investment because if this issue persists even then then I shall update my video and until then I cannot recommend this product because of this particular issue if you are a person that listens to radio a lot then certainly this is going to be an issue for you but I shall update it until then I cannot recommend this for you let me just contact the seller for this and I will see what happens and don't forget in the end I shall attach the specification for this thing so for another com cube comparison here is the uh, I'm going to turn this thing off and and I do have some other car chargers right here and you guys have already heard, heard the noise that being generated by this thing is so now let's just plug in another charger that I found and listen. 
it's already connected let me just plug in a load to it and uh, see it is creating some kind of noise but still it is negligible I'm connecting in a load and that is not creating any difference at all in the noise level so this is the second charger that I'm I'm using right here it's the it's a pretty old one with my micro USB at the end so I'm going to plug this in and the light is on and yet the noise level remains the same so strangely enough this is the thing that is having the issue so this right here guys is the product that we were looking for it's branded Olaf and it is now available for around three dollars which is just a little bit less than what I bought for and it says Qualcomm Kipcha support it, it has all these features like has temperature protection, fireproof materials, short circuit, over current, protection and everything. So I thought it is a good thing to buy and that's why I bought this thing. So the only issue that I'm currently having with this thing is the huge amount of noise that it generates so it interferes with my FM stations at all. It is creating a lot of noise and I had so far I have tried uh, and different locations where the FM reception is good and bad but irrespective of that this thing is creating a lot of noise in my FM reception that is the only problem that I'm having with this thing at the moment so yeah thanks for watching see you in another video